بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Today we will describe the data show of the digestive tubes starting with the oesophagus And the oesophagus follows the general plan for the digestive tube <coughs> This tube is one tube starting from the mouth ending by the anal orifice And this tube um, is formed of four layers The innermost layer is called the mucosa which is formed of epithelium, lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. This is the mucosa. The following layer is the submucosa, which is connective tissue, and then the musculosa formed of two layers, inner circular and outer longitudinal. And finally, we have a connective tissue. Uh, either it is without a peritoneal covering called adventitia or with peritoneal covering called serosa. The uh, epithelial lining uh, function is the protection, secretion, absorption. Here with the esophagus, it is uh, protective, no secretion or no absorptive function, except for secretion of some antibodies, as usual in the epithelial lining throughout the, gastro, uh, the gastrointestinal tube. Then after that, we have the lamina propria of connective tissue, and then we have the muscularis mucosa. Then the connective tissue of the submucosa that may contain glands or not, then the muscle and the connective tissue or uh, adventitia. Here the esophagus of dog. The dog eats harsh bones, so it is characterized by the presence of esophageal glands, which are mucous glands present in the submucosa. Starting with the lumen, this is the lining which is thick to protect uh, the uh, wall because here the food is more or less more um, uh, rough, more hard than uh, later on in the stomach, which is uh, uh, most uh, gel uh, mostly jelly in consistency. But here at the start, it is very uh, hard material, so the epithelium is the thickest epithelium. This epithelium is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, characterized by the presence of many layers of uh, nuclei, meaning it is um, stratified. Here it is resting on a connective tissue as any epithelium. The connective tissue here is called, um, as in all the digestive tubes, it is called lamina propria, proper layer. <coughs> then this is the uh, muscularis mucosa, but here it is interrupted by the ducts of the oesophageal glands present in the submucosa. So this is the duct coming from the glands in the submucosa, piercing the muscularis mucosa to reach the lumen. Then we have here the oesophageal glands, which are mucous compound tubulo alveolar glands, secreting mucus for protection and lubrication and they are present in the submucosa then we will have the muscle layer later on and at the outermost and then finally surrounded by the adventitia here we will compare between the oesophagus of dog which is similar to that of human and the oesophagus of cat of course the food of the cat is very delicate compared to that uh, uh, of the dog so in the cat we will not have esophageal glands in the submucosa and accordingly the muscularis mucosa is well evident because it is not interrupted as much as in the esophagus of uh, dog interrupted by the ducts of the mucous glands to lubricate the food which is very hard so in esophagus cat we will see around the epithelium this circle of muscularis mucosa formed of smooth muscles this is the lining non keratinized stratified squamous lamina propria muscularis mucosa and then we have uh, the submucosa submucosa is a connective tissue containing blood vessels nerves and lymphatics here we have a plexus of nerves either in this submucosa or this submucosa it is called Meissner plexus of nerves that supply the muscularis mucosa either here or there <clears throat> then we have the muscle layer similar we have inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle layer inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle layer which is the usual arrangement of the musculosa 
In between the two layers, we have myenteric airbags plexus of nerves, which regulate the peristalsis performed by this, muscular, this musculosum. While the muscle of the mucosa called muscularis mucosa, its movement is not with the peristalsis, no relation between the two movements. This movement will allow the movement of the mucosa and its folding. By its contraction, the mucosa will be folded like this fold you see. The nerve supply of this muscle is coming from the Meissner plexus of nerves, which is present in the submucosa, while the nerve supply of the musculosa is coming from the airbags plexus of nerves, present between the inner circular and outer longitudinal. Here, another picture for esophagus. This is a lumen. The mucosa is folded because we have uh, muscularis mucosa. These are the remnants of the muscularis mucosa because this is esophagus dog. Why it is not developed? Because of the ducts of the mucous glands, esophageal glands, which are compound tubuloalveolar glands. And these are the ducts. And this is the lamina propria. This is the epithelium, non cratinized stratified squamous. And this is the muscularis mucosa. So one is the epithelium, non cratinized stratified squamous. Two is the lamina propria. And three is the muscularis mucosa. These are the mucous glands, compound tubular alveolar. And this is the rest. Of, uh, all of this is the submucosa. And this is the connective tissue of the submucosa. And these are the glands of the submucosa. And then we have the inner circular muscle and the outer longitude. In between them, we have the airbox plexus. And on the surface, we have a connective tissue without peritoneal covering, which is the adventitia. Here, this is the lumen. It is a luminal organ. It is having a folded mucosa. And the lining is a very thick, non cratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So this is esophagus. Then we have the lamina propria. Then we have the muscularis mucosa. So well developed. And we don't have any mucous glands in the submucosa. So this is esophagus of the cat. And then we have the musculosa. Formed, all of this is the musculosa, formed of inner circular and outer longitudinal. In between, we have airbags plexus of nerves to uh, regulate peristalsis. And finally, we have um, a connective tissue on the surface. Here, this is the connective tissue of the surface representing the adventitia. But this is the muscle, and this is the connective tissue. This is a small line here representing the connective tissue of the adventitia. Now we will practice ourselves by this quiz. Here, this is a luminal organ, and this is epithelial lining very thick, many layers of nuclei. So this is um, the uh, non-cratinized stratified squamous epithelium. And by looking here, we can see the ducts, and this is the muscular mucosa, and these are the mucous glands. So this is esophagus of dog. So. Identify the transverse section in the esophagus. This section is a section of uh, esophagus in the dog. Identify the pointed and marked areas. Here we have um, the yellow line is the mucosa. The uh, black line here is the submucosa. The blue line is the, here the blue line, it is the musculosa. The uh, red arrow, it is the esophageal glands, which are mucous compound tubuloalveolar glands secreting mucus for protection and lubrication. And these are the ducts of these esophageal glands carrying the secretion, of course, to the lumen. Then this is a section, of course, in the esophagus, hollow organ, thick, uh, non-cratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So this is the esophagus. Uh, identify this, it is the epithelium, which is the non-carotinized stratified squamous epithelium. And this is the lamina propria, which is connective tissue, and this is the muscularis mucosa. All of these three are forming the mucosa. And then this area here, of course, this one is the muscularis mucosa. And we don't have here a label for the submucosa, 
but this is the musculosa inner circular outer longitudinal and all of this is the musculosa this is the inner circle this is the outer longitudinal of course these are blood capillaries in the connective tissue of the submucosa then we have this slide three uh, the black arrow arrows the black arrows points to the muscularis mucosa this is the muscle well developed this is the muscularis mucosa why it is the muscle it is um, red in color because it is um, uh, uh, xenophilic in its staining uh, and it has no lumen it is not pale blue so, so it is not the mucus glands at all these are the muscularis mucosa then we have the uh, here we have the submucosa no glands in the submucosa and then we have the musculosa inner circular outer longitudinal so the black arrow is the muscularis mucosa the black arrow is the muscularis mucosa uh, which is uh, uh, their contraction is responsible for the mucosal folding and movement then the star marks um, the submucosa which contains uh, the plexus of nerves اللي هي اسمها المايسنر plexus of nerves then we have slide 4 slide 4 here we we'll label all these structures or these uh, numbers we have number 1 it is the lumen number 2 it is a non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium uh, number 3 here it is the lamina propria number 4 here this is red area it is the uh, muscularis mucosa number five it is the esophageal glands in the submucosa which are of course mucus compound tubulo alveolar then we have number six it is the musculosa number six a it is the inner circular and b it is the outer longitudinal muscle layer and then we have finally number seven it is the adventitia <coughs> slide number five <coughs> it is identify the organ it is a hollow organ with non creatinine stratified squamous so it is esophagus type we will look here for the glands or the well developed muscle here we have glands and ducts so it is the esophagus of dog name the type of the epithelium here it is the non creatinine stratified squamous epithelium the red arrow points to the duct of glands the uh, number four identify the arrangement of the muscles it is inner circular outer longitudinal number five the star denotes the presence of the myenteric airpax plexus of nerves its function is regulation of peristalsis the last slide here uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, photomicrograph demonstrates the musculosa of the lower third of the esophagus lower third of the esophagus of course it is made of smooth muscle pure smooth muscle while the middle third it is mixed and the upper third is a skeletal arranged in a, a which is uh, here the inner circular and the B, it is the outer longitudinal. The inner circular appears spindle, while the longitudinal appears in the form of uh, circles because it is a transverse section. Uh, the blue arrow points to this is the main teric plexus of nerves or airbox plexus of nerves. The one function, of course, it is the regulation of the peristalsis. Thank you very much.